So continuing where I left off uh, before my cat interrupted the presentation of uh, this basic concept, um, the whole point is why this is important is is that it, it can suggest the overarching kind of architecture or pattern of the human being. And it is something that then we could start trying to measure for and trying to quantify and get it to where we really understand what's going on. And the, this, this has a, a number of applications that would be immediately kind of relevant and that we could start working on almost immediately if we could confirm this kind of theory. Um, for instance, bone and limb regeneration would not be, you know, so incomprehensible. It would make perfect sense as would correcting how normal uh, growth and development occurs in human beings and, and also specifically how to correct the whole range of abnormal kinds of growth and development in human beings. Um, also, it would give kind of a... it ties in with the whole theory of a physics of psychology. This is essentially kind of like the other side of a physics of psychology. It essentially is saying that that there is, that magnetism is is essentially the basis of a physics of psychology. That these magnetic polarities, when we look at the physical body and strip it down to its essential kind of patterns, if you will, we can find potentially magnetic currents, magnetic spins, magnetic polarities, one that's clockwise and one that's counterclockwise. And that 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 those two spins predominantly fall along the the clockwise spin falls predominantly along the right side of the body and the counterclockwise spin falls predominantly upon the left side of the body. And it may explain, you know, uh, other things, for instance, why uh, 